Hello and welcome to my invite only. My guests tonight, they are very talented, groundbreaking and absolutely stunning directors. Now, if you're waiting for me to ask them uh, what do they feel about being female directors, this one is not for you. So, so sorry, bye. Uh, you go away. But otherwise, uh, these are four directors with very distinct voices and I can't wait to listen. You, Alankrita, Nitya, Zoya and Reema, welcome to my invite only. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to the details of what's going on in your head. I feel like there's something major cooking there, but we'll get into it. Okay. But before that, can I please have my invite card signed? Sure. sure. It's right on your uh, side. I'm sure. signing it to whom? To a beloved uh, person. A beloved person? Oh. Because I'm your cheap. fans are fam. <laughs> <laughs> That's an instant in school. Yeah. Let's start talking about... Uh, this uh, four directors that you all are in the process. Tell me something, do you, have you, have you sort of got into a stage where you completely enjoy the whole process of movie making or is it like a lot of struggle or is it a lot of uh, uh, pain no. and convincing? Is it like going to a war? No, I no. think we, uh, each of us enjoys it. It's not a yeah. war, that's why we yeah. do it. I don't think personally that it's, it's, torturous or something like that but huh. filmmaking is like that there yeah. will be things you set out to, you have a vision and hopefully you stick to it yeah uh, but every now and then there'll be a curveball yeah and you have to just find the best way of hitting it out of the park hmm. so there will be i mean i don't know compromise i just don't like the word compromise yeah that's why i call but he calls it creative it out, adjustment but i think when you're making a smaller budget film it is a war i think you're uh. always fighting for like resources and you have to do the most uh, you know, within yeah. that, yeah. So I think for me, it's like a war. And then it always feels wonderful when it's over. But like when you're in it, it's like a war. You want to speak, Zoya? I, uh, I, I like it too much. Yeah. Uh, uh, I enjoy it too much. I mean, of course, certain projects have been easier than other projects. Uh, depends on the variables involved. Yeah. Uh, also depends on the crew. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes if there's someone that's not uh, on the same page as you, yeah. that can be really hard. Uh, but having said that, I think for me the toughest part of the process is editing. Uh, mm. Because that's when you know you see all your mistakes, it's like you know you have to tell the story, you have to edit it, or you have to cut it, you have to shape it, you have to hone it, it's like rewriting yeah. almost. So that is tough and I like to take time on that. And I'm lucky that my producers give me time for that. Because well, that's wonderful. if I had to rush that, I think I would, it would be, make me uncomfortable. But do you also do work with uh... A lot of people who are, who you're very comfortable yes. with. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rima, what is the toughest part for you? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I think because you know the number of people that you deal with. Yeah. And I don't think I'm naturally like a people's person. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so what I think. What does that mean? Um, well, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm downright <laughs> antisocial, but huh. like I don't love people. Like I think <laughs> Zoya, Nitya, they, they find it easier. Which is why she's sitting there huh. yeah. and, 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 and I'm sitting here. <laughs> See? Basically. So I, this I is think, my plan. <laughs> because she actually doesn't like us. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I have been, I but have I'm been uh, hearing not a, a lot of these passive aggressive comments coming from your side right. against uh, right. this side of the... Well, you know, it's, that, that's Nitya for you. Any, you know, uh, kind of day. You know, Everything just comes down to a dog fight. <laughs> We Let's can just see leave this it. Collaboration this collaboration has been <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> like all collaborations are. Now tell me what are what are each of you like on set? And this I want to know from each other. You talk about Nitya. Well, I think uh, Nitya is really, I think, uh, it's absolutely the reverse of what Reema is describing for herself. But Nitya really is a people's person. Yeah. And I think she's great with getting the best out of people and uh, getting people uh, together and for everyone to sort of. Uh, really feel at ease and all of that. So I think yeah. she's a very, very, uh, like a supportive and comforting sort of presence for everyone when she's around. So I think, uh, yeah, and she's really, really good. And I think she really sees uh, the best in everybody. That is all very nice. What is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> that, I have not There's no problem. I don't, I don't think, that, I don't yeah, think that, she's at least through this, uh, Devoid of any problem. Yeah, yeah. Now you are like covering up for everything that you've just said <laughs> right before. Now, Nitya, do you want to uh, talk about Zoya? Zoe is actually um, just my observation of uh, how she works. She is a like when I'm directing, for example, I really need like my piece. Like I need to get into Zoya is like really comfortable on set. Like it's her playground. Mm. 
-hmm. And she's got all these, she's got like a lot of people around her. She has a lot of fun. I've noticed how much fun she has while shooting. Um, and true. I think what I like about, in terms of technically, I like what she does with her, with the actors. Yeah. I really like what uh, she brings out um, from a scene that's on paper and uh, what she kind of tries to bring out from that. No, but this is true. I've always seen you calm. Like your resting face is just calm, you know? I really like. I like never see her like rush or like you know. Like... I, I don't know about calm. Yeah. Actually, she's just she's just uh, uh, she's not Sorted. calm. She's actually she's just in her element. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know? It's not like she's like a, like the, oh that shanti person that it. No. She's out and about and having fun and making it happen. Perfect. Now Zoya. You about Reema. Hmm. Reema is... Uh, uh, Here at least I'm not expecting nice things. No, no, no. They, she's too Neither extreme. She can go from being completely militant uh. to being completely like straight out of kindergarten. Like everything yeah. is has to be on schedule. Everything is regimented. Everything is proper and you can't mess with that. And then she'll be sticking tails onto people <laughs> and making fun of them with hearts that say kiss me and you're like is this the same person? Yeah, so it's like uh, but Rima sets are also like really like people I think from all four of us I think people get a little nervous around Rima. Huh. but at the same time Rima is the one that has the most games on set right. the most uh, you know the lottery will happen on her set like cricket matches like so she she's kind of weird because it goes from this to thank that thank you so much yeah. for that no but makes yeah, but sense that people get nervous around her she co comes and says i'm not a people's person i don't like people that much <laughs> of course they'd be scared yeah. but throw her in games games period and yeah she's then fine. she's fine uh -huh. okay chalo these are beautiful two extremes now you tell me about alankrita well, I think I've had the most uh, experience writing, actually, the three of us. I, I find her, you know, I think she's a, a wonderful thinker. I love the way her mind works. Yeah. Uh, I love the character she comes up with. I love the depth that she brings to situations. Uh, mm. What is crazy is this, uh, you know, she writes this even as where it's not required. <laughs> so it'll be like, you know, it'll even be as like, she, uh, she goes uh, and sits down. Yeah. Yeah. Even <laughs> so it's like if I walked out of here, she'd be like, Rima walked out of the room even as everyone, <laughs> everyone looked on. Yeah. 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 That's actually so, the first thing uh, these guys drew. Yeah. Uh, so I would say that was, uh, no, it, I mean, I, I don't think it's a negative because it gave She's us fun. so much entertainment. <laughs> of course, four of you have made things for the bigger screen. But tell me if this gets a little easier because clearly the whole uh, Friday opening of 17 crores and 20 crores and the audience talking about it like it's some cricket match is not happening, right? Mm. This is a lot more chilled out. So does that make things easier? It doesn't make it easier. I think it uh, uh, takes it to where it needs to be. Mm. You know, when we were growing up, uh, uh, you watch films and you liked them or you didn't like them. Yeah. You didn't know. I mean, even today, like when you see a foreign film, I have no idea how much uh, Roma yeah, has done. Yeah. I have no idea how much, uh, uh, what you call, uh, Greenberg. Yeah. Uh, how much money has it made? Yeah. I have no clue yeah. and I don't really care. I'm going to watch the movie and be like, do I like it, do I not? Correct. So it takes you back to where it should be. Yeah. And I think that's really nice about it because finally the audience is just reacting to what you're putting out there and whether they like the work or not, whether it makes them feel something or not. Yeah. They're not deciding whether yeah. they like it on basis of money. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not coloured by that. Yeah. yeah. So you're just consuming it the way you should be actually. Yeah. Now tell me, the whole process of movie making, right? Of course it takes a lot of time. How does this affect your personal life? You know, it takes as much of a toll as you want it to take. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you are, because see, we are in a very beautiful business. Yeah. You know, we are, we actually have the freedom to do as much work as we want to. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing a film, yeah, you're involved, you know, your prep is set hours. When we are writing, it's like a nine to five job. You know, when you get into your prep and shoot, of course, the hours are longer. When you're shooting, it's the maximum yeah. time you spend there and maybe the last month in post. Mm. But otherwise, you're free to go home or not. Yeah. You're also free, like after Gully Boy, I'm free to not work for two years if I yeah. don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. So it's up to me how much I want to work or not. Absolutely. So I, it, it's, we are actually in a very good position. Fantastic. Now tell me something, which part of the whole movie making <coughs> process are you the happiest at? You know, I do love uh, the writing process. Mm. Uh, again, because it involves maybe just one other person or two, three other people. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then edit it. I want to tell you, this is not really helping <laughs> very much. She's <laughs> uh, Well, again, for different reasons, I enjoy... Um, you know, different. I, I love shooting too. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a different kind of energy on a high. Yeah. Um, the edit is again, you know, like Zoya said, it's the place where it's all yeah, coming. I'm asking you yeah, for the whole thing. Which yeah, one, one do you like? One. The most. I think um, <laughs> I, I like it when uh, the film releases and I can finally go home and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah, is that's the favorite. favorite. I mean, come on, that's yeah. actually yeah. that's anybody's favorite. Once you're through with the whole process. I love her answers, I want to tell you. It's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> you make mm. my promos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ha, now you tell me, what is your happiest part? Uh, it oscillates between writing and shooting. Ha. I think I'm the happiest writing or shooting. Maybe shooting a little above. A little above and okay. I, I, I honestly hate post-production. <laughs> and But if I have to pick one part of it, I like music. Oh, I like scoring fun. music. I think that's the most relaxing part for me. Perfect. Yeah. Nitya? Shooting and music. Shooting I, and music. I, I, exactly what Zoe said. I love background score. I, I love being in that process. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just like, it's such a gift that's given to directors. Mm. Like, music is a gift. Because you can, you, you hope that when you were shooting what was on paper, you got it. But when you put music to it, you can just accentuate it, you know. The emotion. So no, I love I agree. That. You? Well, I think uh, one is that whatever I'm doing, I feel whatever, I, like if I'm writing, I feel I'll be so happy when I'm prepping and I'm prepping. I'm like, I wish I was shooting and I'm shooting. I'm like, I'm dying to be in edit and edit. I'm dying to be in post. So I have this, like the grass is always greener on the other side kind of syndrome. But I must say what I really, really love is when I'm actually prepping um, for, for a shoot, for the film, because... I think like because the writing is over and I'm just getting into shoot and I think like workshopping with actors and doing readings and actually like starting to see yeah. what it's looking like. I think for me that's uh, the most fun part. Alright, that is great. Mm -hmm. And uh, this brings to the end of uh, our segment one. We'll take a break, can we? Yeah. All yes. Right. So sure. this clearly is a social couch. If uh, we had said no, we can't, what would you do? I would uh, disagree with you and take a break <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So this clearly is our social couch and that not so much. Yeah. But probably in our next segment, we'll try and uh, make you a little Integrate more. Integrate me that. into yeah, the social absolutely. couch. Okay. Yeah, on that note, guys, let's take a break right now. On the other side of the break is a lot of surprises for them. We'll see how that works out. You guys take a break and come back. So, yeah, what do you think about uh, airport looks? I think they are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and nice. they are only calling the press. Yeah. So yeah. I'm finding it really weird. Welcome back to my invite, Uni. You guys, welcome back. Thank you. Now, mm -hmm. we will get to the surprises, can we? Sure. Chalo, we'll Can't see wait. the first surprise for all of you. Hi. Oh. Um, I want to begin by saying thank you for considering me to be a part of this project. You guys are storytellers that I genuinely look up to and it means a lot to me. Uh, it's been a very enriching experience, both as an individual and as an actor. You know, it, it's it's special, so thank you. Um, so there's a couple of things I'm curious about, which I thought I'll ask. Um, what was your greatest influence as a child, like pre-twenties in your childhood, or like your early teens? What what influenced you the most? Well, I think uh, one of my most early influences and why I started loving cinema is Mr. Natwarlal. Uh, wow. um, you know, I, I love Mr. Amitabh Bachchan and uh, yeah, I mean film I think was a big influence. Probably the biggest mm. influence for me all my life. I think so if yeah. you're going to take an influence in terms of a film because that narrows down the scope of it. I think uh, one uh, film I just kept revisiting and revisiting was uh, The Wizard of Oz. I just love that movie. Yeah. I mean I love many movies but as yeah. a kid that is one film that I just weirdly kept going back to. Nitya? I mean, I don't know if there's a film that I saw and said, oh, I want to be a filmmaker, but if there's one film that stayed with me and I was just, if I questioned how it gets done, mm. was Mr. India. I was so blown away mm. by it and I got completely consumed with this kind of idea of what if. Like, yeah. that means that it, through storytelling, I can go into different spaces and, yeah. and, and, you know, I don't have to, like, essentially, like, look at reality. I can, like, travel into... Uh, so yeah, yeah. if you're yeah. talking film, then that 
that's the first memory I have of something that really spoke to me. I think with me, I definitely didn't have any like strong influence of film when I was growing up. I didn't like feel like cinema had any like major impact on my life. Me I think with, it was just books. I think like I'm making films because I read a lot of books when I was a kid and I would like just be reading all the time. So I think for me, it's more the fascination with stories and characters and an imaginary world. And so I think I would read and I would keep imagining stuff. So I think like I got into film more because of uh, that. So I think, and I think that continues to be. So I still feel I'm far more influenced by what I read uh, than what I watch. Yeah. Fab. Chalo. Now, message number two. Mm -hmm. Hi Zoya. Well, what better way to thank you to make me look hot, sexy and in bed. No, but seriously, thank you so much for giving me a chance to work with you at such an early stage in my career. I've learned a lot. But I'm going to remember these four days for the next two years of my life. Anyways, we're going to do a full-fledged film together. That is what I remember for the rest of my life. No, but jokes apart, I just love you, adore you, just like everybody else. You are the best, best, bestest. Looking forward to work with you again and learn a lot more. Thank you, Zoya. Love you. So cute. Yeah. Chalo, how was it working with him? Quickly. Supreme. Yeah. Yeah, it was so good working with him. And uh, it was it was fun because we wanted to cast somebody uh, who has the, you know, who's uh, who's very cute looking. Yeah. We wanted to cast somebody who has the, uh, the swag of a, a, a superstar, you yeah. know. And uh, he's a really good actor. Yeah. He has incredible comic timing. Mm. Uh, he's really good looking. Yeah. And uh, he has that... Um, he doesn't take it too seriously, you know. Yeah. So he, you, you can actually have fun with him. Last message we'll go to. Mm -hmm. The saddest noise, the sweetest noise, the maddest noise that grows. The birds, they make it in the spring at night's delicious close. Uh, that's a poem by Emily Dickinson. And Renal has made me, has asked me to make this video. Uh, reward being a hamper? Mm -hmm. and has asked me to her. end the video with a question. So, <laughs> I love this profile. do you prefer yeah. this side? <laughs> or this side? I love you, Jay. That's his question. I love you. Oh. I'll take the bearded side. Yeah? Yeah, compared to this side. I'm not into that handlebar stash that's happening. That's not your scene. <laughs> um, I mean, as in I, I just go, yeah, what's yeah. what I said. Agreed. Beard? Beard. I'll ask him to be clean shaven. Yeah. Ah, like in the. Yeah, in the ideally, series. yes. Yeah. Ideally clean ideally, shaven. Ideally. So I just tend to continue the shaving process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make that faster. This video yeah. message is Complete too the shaving. This is epic. Can we have And this, this is. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I don't pull kids also. Yeah. <laughs> no, but this is epic, yeah. 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 Chalo, we're going to say end our um, second segment with a, sec with a part called In Style with Renal. It's a quick one-one uh, style-based question you have to answer. Very simple. Style? 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 Don't, yes, worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Reema should answer all of those. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting, yeah. I'm yeah. starting with Reema. Reema, tell me what is your everyday go-to look? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, much too Zoya's annoyance. I can't do this. It's shorts and a t-shirt. Huh? It's shorts, shorts and a t-shirt. Shorts and a t-shirt. Though she never approves. Chalo. Uh, Zoya, what do you think about uh, airport looks? I think they are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Because I, you have people coming out in boots still here. Yeah. They are in yeah. coming out with such big shades in the middle of the night. The and night. they are only calling the press. Yeah. Yeah. So, no. I'm finding it really weird. No. They're carrying extra clothes, getting dressed in the plane, yeah. they're called the press and they're getting photographed. Yeah. Uh, it's just ridiculous. And then they will also walk like wow, this it's torture that I have to go through. I mean, there are very few people that look comfortable. <laughs> no, like they're yeah. dressed for a flight. When they yeah. want to look comfortable, they pretend that they're wearing that track, like a juicy track yeah, suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's also planned. Hilarious. That's also no, planned. planned. So, when you want it's to be hilarious. comfortable, that's also... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think we should... It's, we should burst this bubble and tell everybody that it's all planned, it's, it's all, all planned. orchestrated, yeah. don't fall for it. Absolutely. <laughs> Chalo, Nitya, what is that one fashion statement you wish would go away? Yeah, anything, that, something like that you don't like. Like balloon skirts. Okay, that you don't like. <laughs> now, Alankrita... And lace. Huh. Huh. Alankrita, what, what is that one piece of clothing in your wardrobe that has gotten you lucky in terms of like... <laughs> no, 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 don't go there, don't go there. <laughs> 
I mean, I mean stuff <laughs> like people. What a risky question. People wear like a particular kind of uh, sandals for a narration. Oh. Stuff like that. Like that works out for them. Okay. I mean, I don't think I have any such. Uh, but it's a great idea to invest in some kind of lucky wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything which I uh, think of as uh, lucky, but uh, but I'm going to like figure this look out. Look into it. <laughs> I'm going to look into it because I'm sure there's something. There must be some color which really works to me. Some design which creates some kind of good fortune in my life. Good so now I'm go yeah, I'm going to do it so now that you've told me. You think of it uh, while you're thinking. We'll take our last break. You, I'm not asking you anymore. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Chalo, we'll take the last break on by invite only. When you come back is our Mintra game and we'll figure out who will win the hamper. Three. <laughs> Thanks, that was Freudian. Yeah, okay, second one. Welcome back to by invite only. This is our last and final segment. This is also our game. Where you could win uh, this <laughs> empty hamper. Okay. okay. No, no. I think Super you should exciting. play the game. I should play the game. <laughs> and win an empty no, hamper. I tell you, the hamper is empty because uh, the Mintra wall is right behind me, and whoever wins can go pick up whatever you want. Only okay. one of us will win. Huh? Only one of us. Will A team. So the game, because uh, Made in Heaven is all about weddings, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and weddings have a. Uh, Sangeet, which is a competition. You don't have to sing, calm down. <laughs> so what you have to do, what I'm going to do first is divide you into two teams, which is very easy right now because it's uh, Alankrita and Nitya together oh, against uh, Zoya and Reema. All okay. right. This uh, basically is dumb charades. Okay. 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 So what we're going to do is I have uh, names of movies in my cards, which are all movies which are uh, related to weddings. Okay. 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 Now one of you from your team will come here, <gasps> sit here, pick up a card and then sit here while I go that side and then you enact to your other team member. Chalo, you, you come. We all have to do it? Yeah, yeah. Ready? What is this behaviour where you're showing things? To whom? Did you see it? No, no, I didn't. Oh. She's a big not cheater, so you should be careful. Very slyly she was standing yeah. like this. Started on Nitu. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Oh, do, you don't have to guess. So these are all Hindi movies, only, right? These are all Hindi movies. Only you will guess. Oh my god, that's too much pressure. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I need support. I'll support you a little bit. <laughs> but I've seen the movie now. Ah, a little bit support I'll give. Okay, okay so only Hindi movies, right? Ha ha. In your thing. Ha. Three words. Second word. Galen, Shadi. Uh, Mala. What is it called? Jai Mala, Shadi. <laughs> English word, English word. It sounds like. like what is this? I'll help you also. Oh, but you are very good. Mar. Mara. Mara. In English. What is that? Dead. Sounds like dead. Can uh, you speak? Dead. A wed. A little bit. Hmm. Okay. I will give them. Tanu Eds Manu. Yes. How have you done this? Where have you got this? Because I, I, I pretended I'm dead, dead and then she said wed. Who's and dead? She's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then she's like... No, mm. I think when you were talking to me, she just showed her the flash to the Have card. You, <laughs> it's no. on camera. Did they Please flash check on the, it. No, did no. They, no, they did not. Did <laughs> they cheat? No. Okay. I believe you. I believe you, Nitz. Well done. Well, well done. Well done, guys. Chalo, come. Nitz. Hamper ke liye cheating. <laughs> Chalo, who's coming from your team? Uh, Zoya and Rima? I'll guess and yeah. you'll... Okay. No, you'll act and I'll guess. I'll act, okay. Not God. Bad. Bad. Come on, Zoe. I was like, I don't know how to do that. Come on, Rima. Yeah. Or Manu, for that matter. But so I me? think the good thing is we know each one has oh. some wedding-y things. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how many words. This is actually pretty chill. Yeah. Three. Okay. It's distracting. <laughs> 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 Thanks. That was Freudian. Yeah, okay. Second word. Huh. Wedding, marriage, shadi. Mujhse shadi karogi. Yes. Ah, well done. There Come you on. go. We won it. What? Right, we also what? won. Now, but y'all were cheating. We, yeah, yeah, no, no, cheating. No, 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 we no, were no, playing we not down. It's, it's yeah. not for timing. There's yeah. the timing. There, is the ta game. there should be the time but, off. But, but the person who's supposed to be mute was speaking. Y'all were like, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. marriage. No, I, we were just saying that this is what okay, English is. This is what Thank English is. Who's coming? Now you have to come. Okay. Quickly. Ah. Okay. I'll... Come, come, come. With her mic? Yeah, with the mic. <clears throat> so, uh, okay, fine. Uh, Hindi? Yeah, yeah. Now, all of this I'll consider in the, in the winning. Three huh? words. This. Hmm. First word. Ban Baja Barat. Okay, chal. 
so was that too we took too long prima <laughs> cheating for a hamper guys that's too low <laughs> it's too low one word shaadi vivah oh well done well done you guys so then it's a uh, now it's, it's a draw it's a draw see now this is a situation where i have to consider uh, external factors like uh, timing uh, use of words in the middle which uh, both you, you didn't tell us you didn't tell us no, but i i i did Come say on, that i'll use external shiraz. factors it's dumb shara you he can't discriminate <laughs> Fine. Let them Discrimin- have it. They're crying. <laughs> you have made it an Andolan. Chal, chal. It is enough. Let's not be whiny children. We will uh, give it to Zoe and Rima. Congratulations. Okay. It's fine. Let them have it. Yeah. It's a collaboration. They'll share. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> chal. Now, made in heaven. Wonderful job, you guys. I've seen three episodes. I can't wait to see more. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank being you. a part of my invite only. Thank By you. By the time this is come out, it's streaming already. So please go watch. Thank you so much Thank you guys. You. Thanks for having me. And please keep coming back because you're always invited. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we'll go. Zoya wore a pistachio button blouse with white palazzos and pastel pink floral heels. Get a similar look on Mintra. Reema sported a black and white striped tee layered with a casual denim shirt. Straight fit indigo denims and oxblood sneakers. Get a similar look on Mintra. Nitya kept it cool and casual in a white tank with blue jeans, a black floral cape, and white sneakers. Get a similar look on Mintra. Alankrita wore a classic t-length button-down dress with fusion sandals. Get a similar look on Mintra. I wore a white printed tee with a black and white camo jacket. I completed the look with a pair of cool grey denim with striped details and black sneakers. Log on to the Zoom store on Mintra and shop for this look.